morning guys. Today we're doing a chest masculinization surgery. And I do this surgery for a variety of different patients. So I do it for patients who are transitioning, female to male. I do it for cis males who have really severe gynecomastia, but I also do this surgery for non-binary and cis women who don't like their chest and want a more masculine presentation of their outward appearance. And so in this case, I'm electing to do a double mastectomy with free nipple and free areola grafts. And the reason for this is because one, is a lot of extra skin that's gonna be left over if I don't tighten the skin, but also the areola position is too low for what an aesthetically male areola position should be. But the reason why I'm doing a separate nipple graft is because these nipples are just way too big for a standard male nipple. And so I'm gonna end up taking a little piece of areola and a little piece of the nipple to graft them separately to get a more male aesthetic. So I'm about to do the markings and I'll bring you back in afterwards. completed the markings and what I want to show you guys is these are my proposed incisions here. I'm going to start off by taking a small piece of the areola to match a more masculine size areola. I'm going to take them off of each areola and then take a little piece of the nipple and I'll go in and remove the breasts through these incisions, close the incisions and then sit her up, put the areolas where I want them and then suture them in the grass and then the nipples on top of those. And so we're about to get ready to the, go to the OR, but the other thing I want to mention is that, you know, this surgery is designed for a lot of different types of patients. And just like gender is a, a spectrum and gender identity is a spectrum, surgery should not be pigeonholed either to specific types of patients. And so really for me, the job as a plastic surgeon is to see what the patient's goals are, identify them and help them achieve their goals through surgery. And so I'm excited to do this surgery Gonna head back to the operating room and get started. We're here in the operating room, about ready to get started. I wanna show you here, I've already marked the new areola size and you can see this is gonna be a much smaller areola compared to the original one. I like to usually try and get them from the same one just to get a better color match. I'm gonna start off by taking the areolas off then removing the nipples to later make it into a smaller nipple segment and then I'll do the mastectomy on each side and I'll bring you guys back in as the case progresses. Finished uh, creating the areola graft on one side as well as the nipple. So you can see this is the native nipple, but this is the size nipple that I need for this areola. If I use the same nipple on this areola, the whole areola would be covered by the nipple. So this is the left side and the left nipple. This is the right areola. I still gotta thin this down so it's could be grafted on and then take a little piece of this nipple and use that as a graft. So you just completed this chest masculinization surgery with a double mastectomy and free nipple and free areolar grafts. And so you can see really nice curved incisions. This is a separate areola graft and a separate nipple graft. Much more aesthetic male contour to the chest, much better areola size and nipple size relationship with the areola. 
And so the one thing I want to mention, I usually bring the drains out from the underarms, but in this case, because she elects to, to continue shaving the armpits, I brought them out here so it'll be less conspicuous when she wears um, tank tops or, or sleeveless uh, shirts. And uh, all I gotta do now is put the dressings on, but this is a great contour. Peck lines are nice and defined. These incisions are gonna heal really nicely. Mm -hmm.